you guys are gonna wanna stick around at the end of this video. We got a uh, sneak peek of some pretty dang cool Jeeps. Two different Jeeps we're gonna be working on here in the shop. Um, pretty unique. We got some fun plans for those, so anyways, check it out. Okay. We just had our first video come out on what we want to do. Um, but I thought we'd show you the truck itself and some of the work we've been doing on it to make it more off-road worthy. Um, we'll start here in the back. So the back foot and a half, we take and loft it off with the torch just to give it a better departure angle out in the mountains on rocks and stumps and whatever's in the way or on the trail. So it just gives you a lot less space between the back of the tire and back of the bed while maintaining like here in the center, kind of have a, like a little mini workbench. Um, we're able to tow gooseneck trailers still. And uh, we're gonna attach probably a vise and some things here. We've got some cardboard CAD design going here for some D-ring mounts we got up still cut out and and weld on. Um, other cool thing we did is we braced it all up with some C-channel here and welded it in to give some support on the fenders. Um, other thing is we rebuilt this mount for the boom control, the big winch. This runs, this winch got actually two spools on it and two arms and this will run one side or the other or, or both at the same time over here also we added in this jeep style receiver it's all quarter inch plate it's been kind of semi frenched into that piece of tube and angle and then welded all the way around top and bottom front and back the other purpose of this plate i forgot to mention here is underneath we're gonna take a 12,000 pound winch and it will sit basically right here but underneath and we'll cut a, a fair lead hole here and mount our fair lead out here so we'll have lots of things going on right here in this area but I think it'll make it pretty handy not only that it's like it serves as a pretty awesome workbench for fixing anything you can imagine so especially when we get a vice have a have a mount for a vice so the other thing is we've got a toolbox that's going to mount in right here to hold all of our uh, recovery gear, chains, stuff like that. So it's coming along. We'll keep you guys updated. And then uh, Brian, you want to tell them about the axle stuff we've done, you know, spacers and welding and whatever. Yeah, we've uh, put a spool inside the 14 bolt. We did have to space out the duels a little bit because they're pretty fat. <laughs> um, we've got to come up with a better fuel tank, which we're still in the process of doing. But we're going to mount a bunch of lights up here on the boom. It's probably some coming off the side, some shining out the back, so we have a ton of light around the area where we'll be. Uh, We'll be winching people up uh, inside the cab here. Still got a ton of work, but we've got our sniper EFI display here. And then down here, we've got our switch panel, which will have all of our lights mounted off of once we get them all mounted onto the truck. Um, we've got our PTO drive here. We've got a throttle up here which is kind of nice and then uh yeah that's what's the brake called that locks the brakes when you jump out still neutral we call that line lock line lock yeah, yeah, yeah line lock yep. line lock will keep her solid while yep. we're out messing around with rigging and stuff i was trying to remember what the hell that was called i couldn't remember it's okay either. though because you can edit swear it, so. down. it's okay <laughs> you want to show them the pq okay. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. Down under here. So right here. I don't know if you 
build to see. You can see the PTO drive. Still got enough light. Comes off of the back of the transfer case. We gotta get a picture of the cool get lights. The lights working. It's pretty cool. Go from the back. That's cool. Kind of cool light. I'm gonna try to maintain that, keep it on there, maybe build a guard for it so we don't clean it off on a tree. <laughs> that would make me pretty sad because it's a cool light. <laughs> I'm gonna show them all the cool stuff you get under the hood. Yeah. So up under the hood, we've got our EFI all installed and ready to go. Just hooking up the fuel pump and that'll be ready to fire up. But pretty nice sniper four barrel that Holly makes. Yeah. Ran the wiring up, up onto the back of the firewall there so it keeps it out of the heat and any kind of uh, dirt, debris, whatever, mostly heat would I be concerned about with getting in the wiring and making it brittle. Same with the fuel lines. Ran the fuel lines up high, got them up off the, the engine there so that they don't get heat. Looks doesn't, nice with all the looms and stuff. Yeah, it doesn't boil it. I've actually heat wrapped underneath the looming so that uh, it'll keep the fuel nice and cold. Is so that a uh, aftermarket ignition? Yeah, that's an HEI type distributor where the coils directly mounted onto the distributor. Nice. What's this little device down here? That's the line lock for the brakes. Oh, okay. That's a pretty cool setup. Locks the brakes up so you can hop out. It's a little bit better than I would say an emergency type system where it's driven off of some emergency brakes in the rear. This is actually hydraulically locks the brakes up. Hmm. That's pretty cool with those front and rear, I looks like, right? Yep. It's awesome. And then over here we've got our fuse and relay box. That's where we'll run all of our lights to when we get to that point. We've got two batteries. Instead of just one, we ran a second battery so that we can run more amperage if we need to. That'll also help when we're running lights and winches and all sorts of different things. You want to tell them why this is such a good truck to start with as far as functionality and purpose well, and like just being all around bulletproof? Yeah, these old Chevys are pretty stout. Comes with a factory Dana 60 in the front and a factory 14 bolt in the rear which is plus it's a king bin 60 which is a really solid solid uh, axle and it's got 410 gears we haven't locked the front yet eventually we're going to put in some kind of electric locker i imagine um a steering conversion to yeah it. we'll do a high steer kit on it get the steering up out of the rocks what do you think coming along yeah i think we've about got it sweet we'll go give her a rip down the road
What we doing here, pal? Moving our ropes. Yeah, these old buggers were pretty rusty. Little WD-40 goes a long ways with these old cables, though. Cleans them up, makes them pliable again. Getting ready, getting excited. She runs dang good. What do you think? I think it's ready for some action. Yeah. A few little things to button up, but I'm excited. I get the front bumper on. Pretty sweet. From cardboard cat to Yeah. 